Hey folks, Geeky here again, and this time I want to show you one of my all-time favorite loot caves. Maybe you are in need of arc bars to spend at Storage Wars, maybe you're looking for element for your generator, or you're in dire need of the perfect chibi. In this case, loot caves are your best bet, and this is one of my favorites. I'm here on Public Fjordor, and there is a teleport directly to this location. It's called the Fractured Earth Public Honey Cave TP. This is a fantastic cave with a chance for pretty much endless arc bars, elements, and chibi. So when you get here, if you come on straight back here through these little bushes, the cave entrance is kind of hidden behind these bushes right here. I do not recommend doing this cave on foot, not only because of all of the creatures in there, but also because many of the loot crates are up in high locations. You are going to need a flyer of some sort, and I also recommend that you bring something like a cinema crops on your shoulders, so that if you need to get to a really narrow area or you slip and fall off a ledge, you have a way of getting back up. Well, I could use my little Pegasus here. He's not really the best option for this cave. And I'm going to show you my two favorites for this cave. All right, first off is the ever useful Griffin. These guys are great for going in the cave. Uh, one of the nice things about them is when you land them and you dismount, you usually end up standing on their back instead of being chucked off the side, which is really useful on some of these narrow ledges. But really, my favorite one for this cave is the Desmodus, which is found on this map. These guys are excellent flyers. They handle similar to the Griffin, and they have an ability to latch on just about anywhere. So we're going to take this guy through today. So I'm going to go ahead and head into this cave. Now the first little bit's fine. When you get in further into the cave, you're going to start seeing some of the critters that are in here. If you are looking to stock up on chitin, this is an excellent cave to do that in. Um, but for now, we're just going to go looking for those loot drops. So the trick to this cave, because there are several openings and tunnels, is to stay to the left if you are here for the loot crates. So I'm going to fly around this little central pillar. And as I come around, I've got a tunnel here. And then if I back up a little bit, there's a tunnel off to the right as well. Now again, we want to stick to this left-hand tunnel. You'll know you're in the right tunnel if you get to this lovely rib cage here, which we're just going to fly right on through. There are several runes throughout this cave. There's one right over there. But we're going to keep going. And again, we just kind of want to stay to the left over here. Here's our second little tunnel that we want to go through. Again, lots of bugs. Great way to collect chitin. You can see off to the right, if you can, I can get past all these Meganora, there are a ton of insects and stuff over to the right-hand side there. But again, we are sticking to the left-hand side to get to the loot crates. So I'm going through this left-hand tunnel, and then it's going to open out again into the first part of the loot cave. You can see there is a loot crate right up there. If I fly around this pillar, there is usually a rune right down here. I just picked it up a little earlier, so it is not showing up for me at the moment. I've got another loot crate back here. You will sometimes find a loot crate spawning here on this ledge with the mushrooms. You will sometimes find one, I'll get rid of this guy, right up here on this ledge. And then as I go around, you can see there are several other ledges in this general area where these loot crates can spawn. So I'm going to go ahead and stop at this first one. You 
You can see these are very narrow ledges. You never see my inventory. There we go. And a bunch of chibis, a decent amount of element, and those lovely arc bars. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. We're going to zoom over to this one here, grab this one, and then we'll head into the next part of the cave. One of the nice things about this cave is that you can pretty much just keep circling this cave for as long as you have the patience for, and these loot crates will keep respawning. So now I'm going to, again, here's the entrance over here that I came in. I want to go over here to this next one here. Again, sometimes you're going to see loot crates spawning on these ledges. When I get to these big glowing crystals, I want to go up as high as I can because here is the opening for the next section of the cave. A Desmodus will fit through fine. A Griffin should be okay as well. And then we want to go down a little bit lower to the next part here. And now we are in the large area of the cave. You can see a couple of loot crates already. And in the back is, I believe, Artifact of the Strong. Yep, Artifact of the Strong in the back. This cave is pretty safe. There's nothing in here that's going to go after you that I've ever seen. I've been through this cave a million times. There has never been anything in this particular section of the cave. So again, Loot Crate spawns there. One often spawns up here at the top. And we've got another rune right down there. Back corner here by the little waterfall, I've got another loot crate. And while there's not one here at the moment, this ledge over here is where another loot crate has the potential to spawn. So there's my artifact down there, really nifty little cave here. But I'm going to come over here, here's that little waterfall area, there's a rune down there, and I'm going to follow this path up, and there's another tiny little entrance here. Again, Desmodus and Griffin should have no trouble getting through. And then in here, we've got a ledge here that often spawns a loot crate. There's not one at the moment, but right down here on this ledge at, by the water, you will often see a loot crate. You just need to be careful because these sarcos will come out of the water after you. Make sure you have something that can handle them. And then up here is the third location in this section where a loot crate can spawn. All right, now in the back of the cave, there is another little tunnel back here that takes you into another part of the cave. I don't recommend that. There's not really much back there except lots of things that will try to kill you. So I have gone through the main portion of the loot cave and now I'm just going to fly back. Remember, our little cave tunnel is up here at the top. This is going to bring us back into that center cave area. And this section is empty, but you can see one has respawned over here. So I'm going to go ahead, hop off, go ahead and grab it. and check my other spawn locations. Nothing on this ledge, but a new one has respawned down here. So you can see things respawn fairly quickly in here. And when I'm in here, I just do loops back and forth through the three main areas of the cave. By the time I finish with one, the others back at the beginning have usually respawned. 
So you could spend as long as you want cruising through here, collecting loot crates, and stocking yourself up with chibis, element, and those ever so lovely arc bars. So here's another one up here. And back on my bat. Come here, Mr. Bat. All right, nothing over here or over here. So then I would go back through. Oh, we got one spawned up here. And again, lather, rinse, repeat, just back through the main caves again. And you should have plenty of resources by the time you are done here. So I'm back in the main central area here. We don't have anything there, but one is spawned up here. There's one in the back over there. We don't have one there yet. And again, don't forget to come over here to this section and check out the Sarco Tunnel for any through here. There's one right there. None down there, thankfully, but this one back up here has respawned as well. So this is the Fyodor Honey Cave, and in my opinion, the absolute best one for getting Arc Bar's element and chibis from. Hope you find this useful. Enjoy and good luck hunting loot.